to be able to laugh at life, that that's what I've, I've found that I can now accomplish. You have to believe in yourself if you want to become successful. You can't solely depend on other people to tell you what to do or tell you how to operate. You have to do this yourself. You need to constantly believe in yourself and put effort into making yourself a better person into what you believe will be betterment to yourself. You need to make sure that whatever you're doing does give you happiness and makes you enjoy life even more. Because if you get stuck doing something you can't stand day to day, every single day, nine to five, all day for the rest of your life, you're gonna hate it and it's not gonna be fun it's gonna suck. So you need to go out and find something that you truly have a passion for and something that you truly love to do day in and day out that excites you and you love to do and that brings joy and happiness to your life every single day. Then you will enjoy your path to success no matter what. It's gonna be hard of course, but it's gonna be a good challenge for you to learn and grow and discover ways that you can overcome obstacles that you never thought possible so that it will further believe in yourself to constantly improve and be better than you were before. And the more times that you struggle and get through it, the more self-confidence that you're going to have. And you're going to be unbelievably unrecognizable once you are successful because you've grown so much and you've learned so much about yourself and how to operate your inside and outside, how to control your mind and overcome any obstacle that's put in your way. But even though we don't know why I was born this way, that we have a choice. Either to be angry for what we don't have or be thankful for what we do have. Twenty-four years old, five, six years ago, I was in California and I never met anybody else like me. When I was 10 years old, I wish I would have met somebody like me. Never did, didn't get that miracle. But at 24, in California, I saw a little boy with no arms and no legs, 19 months old, just like me. I knew he was going to be bullied. I knew he was going to go through depression. I knew he would feel alone. I knew that he would get worried if he's ever going to have a girlfriend and so on and so on. I got the father to bring him up on stage in front of 2,000 people and everyone was crying. And it was a materialization of when you don't get a miracle, you can be a miracle for someone else. I am not a superhero. I go through ups and downs. So do you. But take one day at a time. And if you haven't found that peace of knowing who you are and why you